Street Talk! Yeah! Welcome to Street Talk. I'm your host, Jason, and this is for Sunday, October the 12th. Sunday, you know what that means. Time for some NFL action. Cleveland Browns hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Three things that are certain in life. Death, taxes, and Ben Roethlisberger beating the Cleveland Browns. An unbelievable 18-1 record in his career versus the Browns. I have no idea what they did to him as a child, but apparently he wants to take it out on them with a personal vendetta and kill them. And he has done so. 18-1 record, as I mentioned. The best record of any quarterback versus any team with a minimum of 15 starts. So, rarely, actually only once, ever lost to them. Cleveland, sort of an up-and-down team, as is Pittsburgh this year. But all of Cleveland's games have been within a field goal or less. They're coming in at 2-2. Two and two. They've had their bye. They faced Pittsburgh in Week 1. I believe that was on a streak. I think it was a double-digit prop. Pittsburgh escaping with a three-point victory after holding a big lead. In that game, Ben Tate went out with an injury. That actually allowed his backup, Terrence West and Isaiah Crowell, to sort of flourish. And now Ben Tate is back. Terrence West, in week one, rushed for 100 yards versus Pittsburgh. It was the first time since 2003 that an opposing running back had run for uh, 100 yards or more. Cleveland averaging 143 yards on the ground a game. So they really have that rushing attack. Brian Hoyer's doing a good job managing teams. They they put it on clipboard Jesus last week uh, when he uh, led them back versus the Titans. 25-point victory, uh, a comeback victory on the road, the biggest in NFL history. So where does that leave us? Well, Pittsburgh... Uh, Ben Roethlisberger specifically had his best game of the year against, who else? Cleveland in week one. Threw for 365 yards. Le'Veon Bell rushed for 109 yards. So they had a pretty good balanced attack. Antonio Brown for the Steelers. Going for his 22nd game in a row with at least five catches. That is an NFL record. Also, Brown's 28th versus the pass. So really setting it up for... Uh, Roethlisberger to have another big game. Injury news for the Browns. Uh, defensive end Phil Taylor is out. Cornerback Joe Hayden is questionable. So really setting it up for, like I said, Roethlisberger to have a pretty big game. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I know Pittsburgh has alternated wins and losses throughout the year. Win, loss, win, loss, win last week. Are they ready for a loss? I'm going to say yes. I know I'm really bucking history here, going against an 18-1 and record. I feel like Cleveland can get it done at home. They're a one-point, two-point favorite, depending on where you shop. They've played, like I said, every team close, and I think that they can get over the hump. I think they can control the ball on the ground against Pittsburgh's defense. Not quite the uh, formidable defense as we've seen in the past. Still not bad. Uh, they have held the Panthers and Jaguars uh, in check on the ground lately, but those two teams can't really run the ball, especially like Cleveland can. So I'm going to say Browns for the green. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time on Street Talk.